Ever wondered what it's like to stare into the abyss and have the abyss stare back? Welcome to coding, a realm where your brain will thank you, curse you and thank you again. Maybe. So you've decided to start coding. Well, congratulations. You've just signed up for a journey filled with endless frustration, sleepless nights and the occasional eureka moment that makes it all worthwhile. Now let's be real, your first line of code will probably be as cringeworthy as a 2008 meme, but that's okay. It's part of the process. If your code doesn't make you cringe a year from now, you're doing something wrong. And if it doesn't work, well, welcome to the club. Let me tell you this. Coding is an art, the art of thinking. It's not about how many languages or tools you know. It's about the thought process, the logic, and learning to think like a coder. As Steve Jobs once said, everybody in this country should learn to program a computer because it teaches you how to think. What he didn't mention is that it also teaches you to question every life's choices you have ever made. But that's where growth happens, through the doubt, the struggle, and the endless cycle of trial and error. And that brings us to the mindset that matters. Coding isn't just about hammering out lines of code. It's a mental game. It's about patience, persistence, and the ability to stare down a bug without losing your cool, at least not too much. The real challenge is in the mindset you bring to the table. Persistence is key. You'll spend hours, sometimes days even, hunting down that one elusive bug, and trust me, you'll want to give up. But here's the thing, true coders don't quit. They keep digging, keep pushing, until they crack down the problem wide open. And if you're kind of a person who throws in the towel at the first error, coding might not be for you. But for those who stick it out, who push through the frustration and sleepless nights, you're the ones who level up. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about progress. It's about progress over perfection. Think about what Thomas Edison said. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. That's coding in a nutshell. If you give up after your first failure, you might as well go back to whatever it was you were doing before you thought learning to code was a good idea. Now, Coding is more than syntax, it's a way of thinking. It's about breaking the problems down into manageable chunks and finding the logic that connects the dots. The languages, the tools, they're just that tools. What really matters is the mind behind them. And if you're jumping between languages thinking that'll make you a coding god, think again. It's like trying to speak 10 different languages fluently but have nothing meaningful to say in any one of them. The real power lies in the way you think and solve problems, not in the syntax you use. For in the syntax we find structure, but in the logic we find truth. When you start to think like a coder, when you begin to see patterns and logic, it's like unlocking a new level of understanding. Suddenly, the tools don't matter as much as the way you use them. It's about the craft, not the tools. And in the end, coding is more than just writing lines of code. It's a journey of growth, learning, and endless possibilities. Whether you're just starting out or you're an intermediate coder, the key is to keep moving forward. Stay curious, stay persistent, and most importantly, stay true to that coding mindset. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the tools you use, it's about how you use them. And that, my friends, is the art of thinking.